Hi there, this is Alex, and today we're going to take a closer look at Poster. I'll be guiding you through how to operate the Pose Register. The Cash Register is the work spot for waiters or cashiers. This is where orders are created and tracked, receipts are printed, and the customer database is managed. To get started, launch the Poster app on your tablet, computer, or smartphone. Enter the register login, password, and click login. Your login always matches the name of your account. You can change your password in the Management Console under Access, Registers. Visit this section as well if you forget your login details. Next, the program will prompt you to enter a PIN code. All employees with access to the register have their own unique codes. Set these up in Access, Employees of the Management Console, if you haven't done that yet. The default owner's PIN code is zero. Let's use that for now. The Open Cash Shift window will appear on the screen. Enter the amount of cash in the register. For example, $100 and click Open. Managing Orders. Select a table on the floor map and enter the number of customers. Alternatively, go to Orders and click New Order. If you operate in a to-go format only, disable the Show Floor Plan option in Settings, General in the Management Console, Let's get back to the order. On the right, you'll see your menu. On the left, you'll find the list of customers and the dishes they ordered. If there are multiple customers at the table, add the same number of customers to the check. Click on any dish added to the order to see more options. For example, you can transfer dishes between customers, add comments to each item, change the number of servings, including selling half portions. To do this, delete the current quantity and enter the desired amount, or use the buttons on either side of the quantity field. Additionally, in the order, you can add a comment to the entire check, change the table, change the order type if your location offers delivery, dine-in or pick-up, split the check if customers decide to pay separately, add a service charge which can be configured in the Management Console. Clear the entire order. Transfer the order to another waiter. Make sure the order is filled out correctly and send the tickets to the kitchen. You can add a comment to each ticket and select the course sequence. This is useful if a customer asks for the main course to be served after the appetizers. Click Send to send the order to the kitchen staff. If you work with a customer database, go to the Customer tab at the top left. Find the customer by name, phone number or card, and click Apply to add them to the order and apply their discounts to it. If it's a new customer, add them to the base right at the register. After this, return to the Receipt tab. The total amount will already include the discount. When the customers ask for the bill, print a pre-check so they can review their order and prepare the necessary amount of money. Click Pay. Choose the payment method cash, card, gift card, or other. You can create these in the Management Console under Settings, Orders. You can split the total amount between card, cash, or gift cards. However, you cannot combine custom created payment methods. The POSE Register will calculate the change for you once you enter the received cash amount at the numeric keypad to the left. Click Pay to complete the order. If staff made a mistake, or you want to treat the customer on the house, Close the check without payment. To do this, click Close without payment and specify the reason, customer left on the house, or waiter's mistake. Click Close without payment. You can quickly find these orders later using filters in the Management Console. Since closing orders without payment is a potential risk for your business, you can set restrictions on this action. Go to Settings, Security in the Management Console and select Require Admin Password. When closing a receipt, without payment. Scroll down and click Save. Now only employees who know the password can close an order without payment. If necessary, you can also restrict other actions at the register. Order History. You can view the history of closed orders in the order history. By default, the date is set to the current day. To change it, click Today at the top right. For each order, you can view a detailed history and reprint a receipt. You can also see receipts and their payment method here. Transactions. You can create three types of transactions at the register. 
Expense. This transaction reduces the amount of cash in the register. Use it for expenses like paying for water delivery or employee wages. Income. This increases the amount of cash in the register. Use it when adding money for change to the cash drawer. Safe drop. This transfers cash from the cash drawer to a special safe drop account, like safe. Typically, collection is done to remove the day's earnings from the register. Please note that only cash transactions can be added at the register. We have a separate video explaining how to work with transactions in detail. I'll leave the link in the description. For example, let's add a payment for musicians. Click the at the top right and select add transaction. Choose the transaction type. In this case, it will be an expense. Enter the amount, select the category. Optionally, you can add a comment. Enable the accrual date option if you need to record a transaction on a different date. Click Add. Done. The expense will appear in the cash shift in the management console and be included in the reports. Reports. To generate a sales report, click on the icon at the top right and select Create a Report. Specify the start and end times for the period you want to report on. It's best to cover the exact cash shift period. This way, you'll see not only the sales, but also any transactions processed at the register. Click Create a Report. If needed, you can print it using the printer connected to the register. Additionally, you can create a report for an individual employee's sales, or include a list of items sold in the report. Closing the shift. Let's imagine our workday is over. Let's close the shift together. Create a report with the current cash shift period. You can also print the report, which is usually done for convenience. Count the cash in the register. Ensure the resulting amount matches the actual cash on hand. If everything checks out and the amounts match, transfer the cash from the register by creating a safe drop transaction. Close the cash shift and enter the remaining cash in the register. In our case, this is zero. With Poster, you can quickly process orders and spend more time with your customers. Simple tools for maintaining cash discipline will help you keep track of the cash flow in your location. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.